given that the following two geometric, okay, so did you see that? These are geometric, don't forget that, are convergent. What does convergent mean? Convergent means that the ratio is somewhere between minus one and one. You need to know these things, guys. Um, when they say convergent, it means that the ratio is somewhere between minus one and one. And then remember, these are also geometric. Okay, so it says determine the value or values of x for which the sum of the two series is equal to eight. Now that's a bit misleading. What do they mean? Do they mean that this one's sum is equal to eight and this one's sum is equal to eight? Or do they mean that we should plus both of these together and that's equal to eight? Okay, so what they mean, and I went and looked on the memo because like I was a bit unsure of, and I mean, of course in the exam, you guys didn't, wouldn't have the memo, but hopefully you won't get something that's weird to understand. But they mean like the sum of the two series. So if you add these two together, that must be equal to eight. That's what they mean. Okay, so we're gonna go add all of these together. Okay. Okay, so this one's clearly going plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. Um, I mean, I think so. Whereas this one's just plus, 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 plus the whole time. Okay, but then that doesn't really work out nicely because then we don't, yeah, then it becomes a plus x4. So that, that doesn't work out nicely. So what we what else we can do is that we know that this here is convergent. They said it's convergent. So to work out the sum of this, we don't know how many terms there are, but because it's convergent, we can put it into the sum of infinity formula. So what you can see here on the memo, I mean, not the memo, the formula sheet, is that whenever your ratio is somewhere between minus one and one, you can use uh, the sum to infinity formula. So let's quickly do that for this one. So if we're to work out the sum to infinity, whoopsie, your a value is term one, which is one, and then r is your ratio. Now to work out your ratio, you can just say term two divided by term one, which is gonna be x over one, so that's just x. Okay, so that's the sum to infinity of that one. Now let's go work out the sum to infinity of this one. Okay, so we go sum to infinity equals to a over one minus r. And so a is one. Now your ratio for this one is term two divided by term one, which is gonna be, uh, term two is negative x and term one is one. So that's just gonna be minus x. So we can put a minus x over here. And that's gonna end up becoming one over one plus x. Okay, so now if we just add the two sum to infinities together, so we just add, you see guys, see how complicated this one and this one looks, but if you just go work out their sum to infinities, you just get that and you just get that. So if we go add those expressions together, so if we go add one over one minus x plus one over one plus x, we should get a final answer of eight. Now it just becomes like a normal solving for x kind of question. So we need to get a common denominator and that common denominator would be one minus x and one plus x. Okay, so we're gonna have to multiply this one with one plus x, and what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. We're gonna have to multiply this one with one minus x, and what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And then, okay, I'm running out of space. Okay, so let's try that again. So we have one over one minus x plus one over one plus x equals eight. Okay, so with this first bracket, we're gonna still multiply that with one plus x, and then this one, one plus x. And then this bracket, we're gonna multiply that with one minus x and one minus x. And then this one, we're gonna have to go one plus x and one minus x because it's currently over one. So it doesn't have anything that is in the denominator. Now, remember, because it's an equation, we can ignore all of the denominators now. So what we end up with now at the top is one plus x because I multiplied those two together. And then over here, you're just gonna get one minus x. And then on the right hand side, you're gonna end up with one plus x and one minus x. Okay, then on the left hand side, I'm just gonna simplify this a little bit. It actually just gives us two, because one plus one is two, but x minus x cancels out. And then we got eight, and then I'm just gonna multiply those two brackets together. It would eventually just give you that, because the plus x and the minus x would cancel. And so now we end up with two equals to eight minus eight x squared. And I'm gonna take the eight, x squared to the left, and I'm gonna bring the numbers over to the right. And so x squared is six, sorry, eight x squared is six, divide by eight, so that's six over eight. So that means that x squared is three over four. 
And so if you had to square root, we should say plus minus. Remember, you always say plus minus when you square root. And that's going to be square root 3 over 2.